Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today we're going to be doing a lithium conversion on this Icon I60L. We are going to be installing Eco Batteries 51 volt, 160 amp hour lithium golf cart battery. So stick around and we'll go through it step by step. As always, we'll start off and go over everything that comes with the battery and in the installation bundle. This is the 51 volt, 160 amp hour lithium golf cart battery by Eco Battery. This is the 15 amp onboard charger, and this is the piece that will connect it to the charge receptacle. These are the Icon mounting brackets and hardware. And the last item is Eco Batteries Icon Cluster Replacement. As always, make sure your key switch is off. Put your cards in the off position. Next, we will remove these old nasty lead acid batteries and clean the battery compartment out. So we did end up using a grinder and I cut the vertical bars, the old battery hold down bars out. They were pretty corroded. So the tray is nice and flat now. And then I removed the tray because when I cut them off, the bottom side, which was also heavily corroded, I needed to drill these out. I couldn't get them out. And so you see here, I drilled this one out and I'm about to drill this one out. That way we can put the plastic insert back in and mount the battery through those holes. All right, because the 160 amp hour battery is long, we are gonna have to uh, extend one of these uh, pos main positive and negative cables. So if we run the battery this way, uh, with the post over on this side, we would have to extend the positive because it is not long enough to reach around. And if you wanted your terminals on the driver side, you would have to extend your negative cable. All right, using your Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws that hold this panel on here. And you can see here, it'll, it will give us access to the back of the controller panel. And we're gonna go ahead and use our Phillips head screwdriver to remove all the screws. So now we're looking at the solenoid and controller here now that the panel's off. And the B negative is gonna ground here at the controller. And it looks like it, it's gonna be a little bit easier to uh, replace the main positive cable. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is use your 12 millimeter to remove this nut right here and uh, probably hand tight. Uh, you can unscrew this mounting um, piece here and there's a piece on this side. So once you remove those, you'll be able to pull the wire out. Okay, here's a look at the finished um, main positive wire replacement. Now we can go ahead and put everything back together here and go ahead and get the battery put in. Okay, when you drop your battery in, um, the holes will line up with the center hole here and it'll line up on the other side. And this bracket will just uh, help reinforce the thin, thinner metal here on the bottom of the battery to keep it from flexing or bending. So now that we have these in place, we'll go underneath and use our locking nut to secure the hardware and bracket battery down to the battery tray. All right, even though we only used one mounting hardware on each side of the battery, it is very secure and there's no wiggle room and uh, pretty happy with how this mounted and uh, how easy it was. We didn't have to drill anything else into the cart, so that's always nice. Here's a look at the OEM uh, battery charger. And this is the connection to the charge port, which we're gonna unplug it here and reroute it to the back. All right, these two wires with the eyelets here that went to 48 volts on your lead acid batteries. This is the charging wires from your OEM charger. So we're gonna be deleting these. So go ahead and unclip them and run them back to the charger. Uh, we have two smaller cables here 
Uh, the one with three wires, that is your charge indicator uh, harness. And the other one with two wire, red and black, this is going to be your charger interlock. And basically, this is the switch that keeps the cart from working while the cart is being charged. So we're going to bypass this switch. And I trace this wire back in here, right there. So we're going to take this apart here and connect the black and red together to bypass it. Once you remove the 10 millimeter nut and bolt on top, you can go ahead and pull it up and go ahead and discard it. This is your OEM 12 volt reducer. So if you're not making any changes to your 12 volt system, you can leave everything as is. Mount the onboard charger with the provided self-tapping screws. Next, plug the quick connect adapter into the charger input wire and then connect that to the wire from the back of the charge receptacle. For a normal icon installation, you would just put your main positive post to the terminal and your onboard charger connection positive piece. And then those would be the only two items here. And the same thing on the negative, we have our main negative cable and our negative from our onboard charger. And once you get those two items to the post, go ahead and tighten them down and put your terminal protectors in place. Plug the LCD wiring harness into the battery and tighten it down. The last thing we need to do is connect the uh, charger can communication uh, harness here into the LCD wiring harness. So where this plugs into the battery, there are two little dangling ports and we're gonna plug this plug from the signal output of the charger into either of these dangling ports. They're both on the same communication line. Next, we're gonna take our LCD wiring harness and we're gonna run it down here and secure it to existing wiring harnesses and run it up to the dash. Now we're gonna install Eco Batteries cluster replacement and that's going to add the Eco Batteries state of charge information to the display. So go ahead and pop your dash panel up. You'll see there's little clips here and there's a couple in the back. You can go ahead and pop it up. And then you'll want to disconnect the OEM cluster back here with the wiring harnesses. I've already done that. And here are the harnesses that went to the cluster. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fish the Eco um, LCD wiring harness up through the dash and into this compartment here. Let's go ahead and remove the Icon OEM cluster. And you can see here it just clips in on all four sides. You can just kind of pop it out. Go ahead and put the Eco replacement cluster in and it will clip into place. And now I'll go ahead and show you how to hook it up to the LCD wiring harness. So in your Icon bundle, you will get this little connection piece here with the brown and blue wires. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to make the uh, battery, Eco battery data available on the, the cluster replacement via the OEM wiring harness. We're gonna go ahead and take the brown and put it into the number two position until it locks into place. The number three position will be the blue. And we'll go ahead and push that in until it locks into place. Here's a closer look. We have our brown in the number two and our blue in the number three. All right, we've pulled the LCD wiring harness through the dash. Now we'll take the smaller connection, which is also brown and blue, and we will plug it into the connection piece we just inserted into our main harness. So we'll go ahead and plug these two together. So on your LCD harness, uh, the black and white is not going to get used for this cart. We're just going to plug the connection piece in to this four pin connection. You're not going to get them wrong. It's a six and a four pin. Now we're ready to go ahead and plug the cluster back up. So now that everything's plugged back in, we can go ahead and put our dash panel back in place. Once you turn your key switch on, 
the cluster will illuminate, come to life. Put your cart in forward and lightly hit the gas pedal. And we have cart operation. So we'll go ahead and put it back in neutral. And you can see we are at 24% state of charge. So we're going to go ahead and max charge this battery. To charge this battery, we're going to take the charging connection piece here and we're going to plug it into our heavy duty 10 gauge uh, extension cord. And once we're plugged in there, we can go ahead and plug this into the charge receptacle. This will activate the onboard charger. The fan will start spinning. It will complete a charge cycle and shut off when finished. And you can see we are now at 100% state of charge. And uh, we're going to take it for a test drive and get it back to the customer. All right, guys, that's it for the lithium conversion video on this Icon I60L. If you have any questions about this installation, please leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them as soon as I can. We are also an authorized dealer for Eco Battery, so if you'd like to purchase one of these batteries, please give us a call weekdays 9 to 5 Eastern. You can also shop online at palmettobatterypros.com. As always, hit that like and subscribe button. We have more lithium unboxing and installation videos coming out soon. So we hope to see you next time. We appreciate you watching. Thanks, y'all.